Welcome to the new segment of the grade seventh. We are discussing history in that fifth chapter. Rulers and building. Today's subtopic is region and empire. So, region and empire. It is uh, uh, they give more importance for the construction of the monuments. The when we see the construction activities in between eighth and eighteenth centuries, they are considered considerable of a sharing of ideas to one place to another place. That is a region. So tradition they are adapted by the each. other they are the changed the architectural things the one place to another place which is very attractive which is a very beautiful they are the adapted those thing in a when they are the constructing a building through the architecture some examples we can take here the while discussing these region and empire so first one is vijayanagara so there in a vijayanagara we have a uh, several uh, the few important buildings in a vijayanagara that is in hampi now at present it is uh, called as a hampi they are constructed a uh, beautiful temples the vijaya vitala temple virupaksha temple as well as uh, uh, the stone chariot yes so the lotus temple and in that separate they are the constructed that is elephant stables the where they are the keeping the elephants and as well as a horses in when shri krishna devaraya was ruling so those rulers were the strongly influenced by the style of architecture found in uh, the sultanyat that is uh, of uh, bijapur and the golconda they are the adapted the totally that elephant uh, uh, elephant stables they are uh, uh, a uh, little change to compare to <coughs> other buildings of uh, constructed by hindu rulers and the another one is that is uh, brindavana near to mathura some temples they are the constructed the architecture styles were the very similar of the mogal palaces in a fatehpur sikri see here the hindus which they are the constructed before that was adopted by the islamic rulers and hindu rulers which they are the constructed they are the adopted some styles of uh, islamic rulers that's why it is a it is a given a heading like a re, region and a empire some creations of a large empire through the different regions under the their rulers they are the shown that the individuality in the architecture the mixture of the all the styles if you take a example of a taj mahal it is a mixture of the indo islamic style yes so in india they are the adopted the some other architectural designs to construct those buildings they are the moguls rulers they are the adopted some particularly the styles of a regional 
where they are commonly found. Here some examples we can recall here. So again we are the discussing the same some architectural things in the coming uh, chapters. The constructed their own buildings. Some examples we can take here the Bengal. Yes, Bengal architecture. You can see one picture here, figure uh, seventeen. So pillars are the decorated. Yes. So roofs, the designs they are the adapted from the Bengal designs. The Bengal doom. We can see in uh, figure 11 and 12 in your uh, test book. In uh, page number, in page number we can take that is uh, page number 11 that is a uh, Humayu thumb, thumb of a Humayu. We can see. The roof and as well as the pillars, they are the decorated with the carving. Yes, in a figure 16 also we can check it out. So, these uh, Bengal uh, domes as well as the pillar architecture, the Mughals are taken, the adopted and we can see in that Fatehpur Sikri. And some architecture styles that is a carving on a pillars and as well as the walls. They are adapted from a Rajasthan, Gujarat, the, the Malvas. Yes, that style they are the adapted. So the main intention of the all the rulers to make flourish this architecture style. Develop of the architectural style. That is day by day they are given a more importance to establish their own kingdoms. They are the try to make a their own impact of in a architecture. So the pillars in a side we can see the huge different designs, the carving some places we will get uh, some uh, sculptures as well as uh, some elephants, horses, they are the carved in a different different uh, temples but in a mosque we cannot see these things. The only the monumental architectural building we can get these type of the designs. Here another one thing they are given about elsewhere um, that is Church that touch the six. Yes. So in in twelfth century, there are attempts begin of the France. They are the started the constructing of a uh, churches. They are the very tall, lighter than other buildings. So this is a some architectural designs they are the made that is known as a gothic yes, or uh, gothic uh, designs they are the made that is higher uh, highest point arches they are the made we can see here in a, a picture they are the used uh, glasses paints and some scenes which is from the taken from the Bible, the flying bur, uh, butters that is a butterflies we can see, the tall and as well as a bell. So this is some examples we can see in India also and in other country also. They are the given importance for to the architecture. So in in India, it is a flourished by a king's rulers, the empires, their uh, noblest persons. They are the made architectural development as well as still they are the standing in front of us without damage. The beautiful monuments we can see in our country. 
So, you can check it out all these points in uh, NCRT 7th grade history textbook. Thank you.